Today I'm going to show you several ways to make fresh, creamy fruit milks. The first one will be banana milk. This is going to be good. So to start I have two ripe bananas and I'm just going to peel those, chop those up and I'm going to add them to my blender cup. Next I'm going to add four cups of cold water and now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now give it a whirl. You'll want to blend until it's smooth and creamy. Here I'm going to add it to my pitcher. You'll want to use something like a two quart pitcher or container. Now add sweetened condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, and you'll want to mix that up. I'm also going to be adding lots of ice. One pound to be exact. Now mix and serve. This is one of my favorite banana milks to make. Now let me show you several other ways to make fresh fruit milks that are perfect for a hot day. Today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry horchata. This is another variation of a Mexican style rice milk drink that's so delicious and refreshing. First, I'm going to start by pre-soaking one cup of rice. You could use long grain rice, but for those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know I always have lots of medium grain rice, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to add that to a bowl and add two and a half cups of water and let this soak for at least four to six hours overnight for best results. And before I forget, I am going to add one cinnamon stick. I'm just going to break it in half and let that soak with the rice. Okay, so I'm going to show you, you'll know your rice is ready when you can basically break it with your fingernail. That means that it has soaked long enough and it will blend in your blender. So for the rest of the ingredients, I will be using two cups of water. I'm also going to be using one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. You could use whole milk. And I will be using sweetened condensed milk. Here I have half a cup, but ultimately I will be using the entire 14 ounce can. I'm also using two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one pound of fresh strawberries. You could also use frozen strawberries in this as well. Now I'm just going to add the entire bowl of soaked rice, including the soaking liquid and the soaked cinnamon stick. And I'm going to blend this on high for about a minute. Now I'm just going to pass this through a fine wire mesh strainer and I'm also going to add this little kitchen tea cloth thing that I have uh, just to catch any large chunks that may not have been liquefied or blended or broken down. Okay, now that I'm done passing this through a strainer, I'm pretty much content with what I ended up with, so I'm going to move on. Now I'm going to puree my strawberries. So in my Vitamix, I'm going to add my strawberries and two cups of cold water. And I'm also going to add the two teaspoons of vanilla extract to this, and I'm just going to give it a whirl, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to pass my strawberry puree through a strainer, and then I'm going to put this together. Okay, so into my rice water mixture, I'm going to add the entire can of evaporated milk. I'm going to give that a mix. I'm also going to be adding my condensed sweetened milk. Again, I started with a half cup, but I ended up adding the full entire can. Now I'm going to add my strawberry puree and I will be giving this a mix. And at this point, you'll want to taste it for sweetness if you're not using sweetened condensed milk, which does give it a creamy texture, you might want to add just sugar, but sweetness is always to your preference and taste. So now I'm going to add one pound of ice. And if you don't have ice, you can definitely add two cups of cold water and just put it in the fridge for it to chill. I also reserved two large strawberries that I have sliced and I'm adding that right into my strawberry horchata. I'm going to give this a mix and it is ready to serve. 
First, I'm going to cut the cantaloupe. The easiest way is just to create a flat bottom. Boom, and then I'm just going to cut all down the sides. Now cut in half, and then you're just going to scoop out with the spoon the seeds and inside. Can't wait. Now, just gonna cut these into chunks. Okay, all my cantaloupe is in here, so now I'm going to add around three cups of water to this. Let's see, will that work? Yeah, that was about three cups. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And this is optional, I like cinnamon, so this is like a quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then you're just going to blend this. You could see it's kind of foamy. You could strain this as well, but I like it all in there. So now I'm going to add sweetened condensed milk to taste. You could use the entire, um, the entire can, which I'm pretty much going to do that. But if that's just too much sugar for you, scale back. Now I'm going to add my evaporated milk. You want to give your can of evaporated milk uh, a shake. You could also use whole milk in this. Like I said, very versatile. Use what you have. Now let's give it a stir. Now I'm going to add some ice. Give it one final mix. And this is ready to serve. Recently, I decided to check out this new taco stand for Quesabirria. By the way, it was really good. But on their menu, they had a drink called Pantera Rosa, which translates to the Pink Panther. And it's just another version of a pink drink. And it's so cute. It's essentially horchata with strawberry puree. Very delicious. And I'm going to show you how to make it at home. Okay, so to start the horchata, I'm going to let my long grain rice soak. Here I have one cup of pre-rinsed long grain rice. I'm going to add one cinnamon stick. This is just uh, maybe a two to three inch piece. I'm gonna sort of break it apart here. Now I'm going to add water. This is around three cups of water for it to soak in. Now I'm going to let this soak. You can do this for overnight. I'm going to do this for around six hours. And you can soak it um, while it's in the refrigerator. I leave it on the countertop, uh, it's fine. But if you're gonna do this for longer, then yeah, maybe put it in the fridge. Yeah. Okay, so this has been soaking. So it may take less than six to eight hours or overnight. Um, but I wanna show you, you're soaking it so that the rice, you can press it and it breaks. If it breaks easily, just like that, then it's ready to be blended. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this well. So this has blended well. Now I'm going to pour it through my fine wire mesh strainer. Here's my horchata rice blended liquid there. So I'm going to put this all into glass pitcher. Now I'm going to add one 12 ounce can, that's 354 milliliters of evaporated milk, some sweetened condensed milk for sweetness. And the sweetness is up to you. You could also add sugar, it'll be less creamy and I'm going for the whole can. I know, super sweet, right? But it's gonna have other stuff in it and extra ice. But the sweetness is to your taste and preference. Now just give that a mix. Now I'm going to add lots of ice. And before I forget, I'm gonna add some Mexican vanilla extract. I'm gonna add like 
one or two teaspoons. Now I have delicious creamy horchata. Okay, so now it's time to make the strawberry puree. This is what's going to make Pantera Rosa or this Pink Panther Horchata drink. So here I have two pounds of strawberries, but I'm only probably going to use a pound or so. But anyways, I'm going to clean these up, uh, give them a rough chop, and I'm going to puree them. Okay, so they're all chopped. I have this about a pound of strawberries. The other ones I just sort of left. I might eat those later. Now these strawberries are not super sweet, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sugar. And if they are sweet enough, you know, you can skip that part, but these kind of taste sort of tangy. Some of them are sweet, some of them are tangy, so hopefully the sugar helps. And now I'm going to add maybe just a little bit of water, a third cup to a half cup just to see if I can get things to blend and puree because I do want this kind of thick because I want it to sit on top of the drink and not kind of just fall to the bottom and, and mix. So here we go. Okay, so here I have my cute little glass jar with some fresh strawberries, extra ice. Now it's time to make this cute pink panther horchata drink known as La Pantera Rosa. So fun. Okay, so today I'm making an easy mango milk. I don't know if you would consider this like an agua fresca, because it's maybe a creamy agua fresca, I don't know. But I've already halved my mango, it's very ripe, so I'm just gonna take a spoon and kind of scoop it out. I'm gonna place this whole chunk into my blender cup. I'm going to add sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to add pretty much the entire can, depending how sweet your mangos are or what your uh, preferences for sweetness. You can use half a can. This is a 14 ounce can, by the way. I'm going in with a 12 fluid ounce can of evaporated milk. So gonna add, ooh, if I can open it. No, no, I don't think it's right here. Jeez, ah, there it is. Got it. I'm gonna go with maybe two teaspoons. Mm tablespoon maybe of vanilla extract. This is Mexican vanilla extract. I guess any kind works, whatever you have on hand. Now I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Gonna cover with the lid and puree. Okay, so now I'm just going to Pour this into a pitcher. It's nice, creamy, and smooth. I'm gonna add a cup of cold water. Uh, maybe two cups. <laughs> and now a pound of ice. A little water to the rest of this ice. It's cold. As the ice melts, it'll dilute and sort of mix in with the thick, creamy mixture. So this is why I don't add tons of water, but you can do what you like. The ratios are up to you. Now just pour you a glass. And here you have delicious mango milk. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.